Greetings, loathed in association with Galaxy Geographic, bring you fake scripts leaked. Star Wars Episode 3, The Jedi Order Crumbles, Part 2. Galactic Senate. The huge Galactic Senate room is abuzz with the murmur of aliens. They are making noise and debating things. Senator Palpatine sits on a floating platform in the middle of it all. Silence! Silence, all of you! I will now speak! The murmur dies down as people turn their attention to Palpatine. Now that I have this emergency power, and this clone army, I have something to tell you all. Oh, Massa, this is gonna be good! Silence, you crap-eyed monster! I merely used you as a means to my twisted ends. What you saying, boss? With the emergency powers you foolishly granted me, I now proclaim myself Emperor of the Galaxy! The clone army shall defend me and strike down all who oppose me. Now, sir, me ain't going stand by this nonsense, sure enough. Oh, poor Jaja. There is nothing you can do. She yet. Obi-Wan swoops down on a rope from above and lands on the platform. But I can do something. Obi-Wan draws his lightsaber and turns it on, pointing it at Palpatine's neck. You must turn the Republic back over to the people. You underestimate me. Palpatine pulls out a lightsaber and swats Obi's lightsaber away. But you're not supposed to be a Jedi. Jar Jar Binks widens his eyes, twirls around, and faints extravagantly. Interior, Jedi Council Chamber. Anakin stands inside a circle of powerful and weird-looking Jedi. Some of them are really weird-looking and have things protruding from their heads. Yoda and the black guy are there, and they look stern. Obi-Wan has his hand on Anakin's shoulder. Anakin, disappointed us you have. I feel no need to defend my actions to you, Greeny. Excuse me, you must call me Greeny, did you? That's right, you're a Greeny. You're green as a tree. Hardly I think I am green, do I? Skin colored am I? Master Yoda, I am afraid the boy is right. You are green. Impossible this is. Black man Jedi, a mirror you will get for me you will. Here is your mirror, Master Yoda. The black Jedi hands a looking glass to Yoda, who contemplates it sternly. Hmm, many things I am, but green I am not. Yes, you are green. You are as green as an avocado. This is hardly a concern to us now. Yoda, you are green. Now tell the boy what you have decided. But I... Uh, Anakin, you are hereby kicked out of the Jedi you are. No longer will you practice the Force you will. I don't have to do what you say. I'm a man now. I got a girl pregnant even, but Obi-Wan stole my baby and now he won't tell me where it is. Is that right? No. Really? Steal his baby, did you? The baby was given to me, and I took it to a safe place where Anakin will never think to go because he's been there several times already. 
He even named my baby without asking me. I could tell its name just by looking at it. This is the way of the Force. Name it Luke? Did he? That's right. How did you know? He names everything Luke he does. Even his dog named Luke it is. Well, it's a good name is all. Now, let's get back to the point. We're kicking Anakin out of the Jedi. Anakin? Right he is. Now give me your Medichlorians, you will. But I thought they were in my blood. That's what Qui-Gon said. Qui-Gon was an idiot. They're in your teeth. Take the boy's teeth, we must. No, you're not getting my teeth. You'll have to go through my mustache first. Anakin spins around and punches Obi-Wan in the face. He pulls the black guy's lightsaber off his belt with the force and turns it on and runs out of the room. Obi-Wan gets up, dumbfounded. Go! You must capture him, you will! But he could be anywhere by now. Anakin leans back in the door. Hey, Obi-Wan! Luke is a really queer name. When I find it, I'm going to call him Chappie. Interior. Hydro power plant. Huge fans roar and make a big thump noises in stereo. Big waterfalls are dumping water into a seemingly bottomless pit. Walkways crisscross across the big tube thing. Darth Carnage and Obi-Wan stare at each other from opposite ends of the walkway things. You are a bad fool, Darth Carnage, to think you could beat me at a fight. You are still naive, Jedi, despite your beard. My beard is a symbol of my masculine power and my spiritual dedication to the Jedi Order. Do not tell me of your beliefs. I am angry. Darth Carnage lunges at Obi-Wan and swings his lightsaber with menace. Obi-Wan deflects his blows with his own lightsaber, and then he leaps to a higher platform with the Force. Darth Carnage leaps up after him, and they circle each other like growling dogs, which is a metaphor. I see that you have the Force. I have used it many times, Darth, and I will use it many more times. Only one of us will be destroyed. In your dreams. Obi-Wan uses the Force to push Darth Carnage toward the end of the ledge, but Darth Carnage skids back on his heels and does not fall, even though Obi-Wan wanted him to. This is a Jedi trick. I am a Jedi with the Force. We shall see. End. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about right there. Thanks to SA Forum goon Danny Manic for gracing us with this awesome look into the upcoming world of Star Wars. From Ryan OMG WTF BBQ Adam. Thank you. Recorded by Loathed December 2015 on Mixcraft Software. Thank you. Thank you.